Tory Lanez's trial is over and the jury has stated their conviction and tons of celebrities have reacted to it. Tory Lanez has been going through trial for allegedly shooting Megan Thee Stallion in the foot back in 2020. While the footage that was released doesn't show what happened inside the car, it does show Megan limping away from the vehicle. When Megan told her side of things, she was very graphic in her detail of the event. Everything happens so fast. And all I hear is this man screaming as he said, dance, and he started shooting. And I'm just like, oh my God. Like he shot a couple of times. And I, I so was is so he scared. in the car shooting from the car? Before finding out the verdict, many people took to Twitter and other social media to show support for Megan Thee Stallion. Chance the Rapper went on Twitter to tweet, I hope Meg really gets justice for what Tori did to her, and that we can all learn from this, how near and constant and serious the threat of lethal violence and abuse is for every black woman. Tory Lane's father was extremely upset after hearing the verdict. He and his wife were heard screaming outside the courtroom. We consist of of rock nation, yep. including you, Jay-Z. Yes. Yes. You who yes. say yes. you rose from the gutter, but you have traded and tortured the souls of young men. And you're still doing it. The only independent witness in this courtroom is a man whose name is Sean Kelly. He came to court and our attorneys, he would not even shake their hand after he went upstairs with Kathy Ta and Alex Bart. They met on Saturday before. They met they on Saturday. Met with our Saturday witness. Night. And then the man came back, and remember. I sat in the hallway while he sat with Jody Little, the prosecutor's investigator, who acted so dumb, an intelligent woman who did not want... Listen, I've seen so much evidence buried in this. A lot of celebrities were taking sides with this court case. Even Drake had allegedly mentioned Megan was a liar in one of his popular songs with 21 Savage, saying... This bitch lie about getting shots, but she's still a stallion. She don't even get the joke, but she's still smiling. He doesn't mention her by name, but I think we can all tell what he's talking about. And then we have some other celebrities and influencers who are defending Megan and calling out the people saying she's lying. Manalio took to Twitter to address the critics that have been tearing Megan down over the course of the legal battle. They tweeted, they tore Megan up and down since she started rapping. Publicly, everybody watched it. This woman lost both her parents, been in deals now being shot at what point do y'all say you know what let's extend some grace and empathy god forbid this has been y'all janelle monet tweeted over here livid thinking about the amount of jokes made memes made and silence around the violence verbally and physically against black women sending love to you meg this is heavy i'm so sorry you have to deal with this then she followed it up with at the stallion take all the time you need for yourself praying for your deep healing again i'm so sorry you're dealing with this privately and publicly all my love to you. When Megan spoke about the aftermath of the incident, it was noted that she didn't call 911, but she mentions that this is due to the fear of the police exacerbating the situation. Megan stated, At this time, we are at the height of police brutality. I felt if I said this man had shot me, they might shoot first and ask questions later. I don't feel safe in the car. I don't feel safe with the police. The prosecutor mentioned in court, If you believe Megan and what she said last Tuesday, this case is over. We're done. If you believe Megan, that's enough. This is the critical question in this case. Was Meg telling the truth that afternoon? I think everybody in this courtroom knows the answer to that question. He later added, There's nothing in that call to implicate Kelsey did anything other than try to help her best friend. When he mentions texts that Lane sent to Megan the day of the shooting, they state, I genuinely want you to know I'm so sorry from the bottom of my heart. The prosecutor followed this by mentioning, He's apologizing to Megan for shooting five rounds at her from a semi-automatic. Well, it turns out that justice prevailed in the eyes of the jury because they found Lanes guilty of three separate counts, including a felony count of assault with a semi-automatic firearm, carrying a loaded, unregistered firearm in a vehicle, and discharging a firearm with gross negligence. With the jury finding him guilty, he looks to face up to 22 years in prison as well as deportation. Once everything was said and done, the district attorney wanted to recognize Megan Thee Stallion for her bravery throughout the case. He stated, You showed incredible courage and vulnerability with your testimony, despite repeated and grotesque attacks that you did not deserve. You faced unjust and despicable scrutiny that no woman should ever have to face. 
and you have been an inspiration to others across LA County and the nation. Tori even recognized that he was potentially facing a lot of prison time, and he spoke out about people trying to call him out two months prior to this verdict. Verdict out on the incident, one might say that this is justice for Megan Thee Stallion, but there's a lot more that critics have to answer for with throwing her under the bus when she's already been down. 